Hi guys, my name is Joe and this is my new channel. Let's start with today's topic, which is the iPhone 8 or iPhone Pro or iPhone Special Edition or iPhone Ultimate Edition or iPhone Decade Edition. Let's go through what we know so far and see those specifics that are almost certain to happen this September, October, whenever Apple decides to hold their event. If you don't know, I have a Hungarian channel which is focused solely on Apple products. So here's a link, go check it out. So what do we know from Apple and iPhone 8 so far? What I can say is that there are two options currently on the table for Apple. I don't know when they start manufacturing, probably they already have or they already came to a conclusion, but we just get the leaks right now. So option one. It's gonna be glass front, glass back, and the fingerprint sensor is gonna be under the front glass. The camera is not horizontal, it's vertical. The front is a 5.6 inch OLED screen, which is from top to bottom, and no borders, no nothing. It's one gorgeous piece of technology. From my own perspective, I would love if this option would be true. The other option, if Apple couldn't pull off the fingerprint sensor and they couldn't place it under the front screen, then the fingerprint sensor is going to be on the back and it's going to be an aluminium case, which is pretty boring if you ask me, considering we've had an aluminium case, aluminium, aluminium, alum aluminum, <laughs> got it. Please, I'm foreign, give me a break. Considering that we've had that design and that material for the past four years. iPhone 5, 5S, 6, 6S, 7. Guys, stop it, cut it out. We don't need that material anymore, we want glass. It looks pretty ugly. I mean, the fingerprint sensor being on the back of the phone is not, not a beautiful thing to see. Even, even if Apple pulls it off, and they will probably, still, it just doesn't feel right. What other options do they have? They could place the fingerprint sensor in the power button. No, whoever turns their phone on with their power button. So those are the two options. We don't know uh, as of yet what is going to happen or what won't happen. All we know is that these two options are pretty solid. I mean, usually at this time of the year, you already have specific designs and you see the CAD files and you see all the, the schematics that leaked so far. Anyway, moving on to the screen. The screen will be a 5.66 inch OLED screen, which is provided by Samsung because Apple ordered 160 million screens from Samsung. So we're looking at Samsung screens in an iPhone that might have a fingerprint sensor on the back and a material that has been used for five years. It's not looking good for Apple so far, but the thing is that it's a huge screen. Considering there are no buttons on the front and you see the camera and you see the speaker on the front, it's just a very, very short and tiny row on top and the screen goes around it. It's beautiful. That, that could save the iPhone. We gotta talk about the camera. The camera will be vertical. Why is that? Why can't Apple do it horizontal as they have so far? Look at that, look at your iPhone right now. What do you see? You see a camera over on the front and you see a speaker, right? They take up about that much space. Currently, that's why we have the camera on the, on the side over here because they can't put it in the middle because the front facing camera is in the middle. Now, if you look at the plans for the new iPhone, it's gonna be a lot longer. There isn't any room to do the camera horizontally, you have to do it vertically. Second reason, you take videos like this, I hope you take videos like this, you should. And when you do, and you take pictures like this, having two cameras looking a little bit like this, you can create gorgeous 3D images. And with Apple focusing on AR technology, as they've published AR kit during WWDC, it's a pretty solid bet that having the camera horizontally when you have your phone horizontally will allow you to do gorgeous pictures, do better 3D and better AR. And there's another reason it needs to be glass because there's a rumor 
that it's gonna be wireless charging. Apple started wireless charging with the Apple Watch and they're doing great. I mean, wireless charging is fantastic. Why haven't they implemented that with the iPhone so far? Because of the material. Aluminium is not a good material for wireless charging, so they need to swap it out, which brings us to the question, will there only be an iPhone 8 or will we see an iPhone 7 S and 7 S Plus? And if we do, will those have wireless charging? It's a lot of questions. Um, usually by this time, we already have a lot of information on the phones. So what I presume and what I think is that we're gonna see a 7 S and the 7 S Plus, which won't have wireless charging and will have the ultimate decade edition of the iPhone 8, which please, Please, Apple, pull it off. Fingerprint sensor under the screen. Samsung couldn't do it. They put their fingerprint sensor up on top and it just sucks. I mean, no one can reach it. No one, and I got big hands, no one can reach it. There are rumors that it's gonna be a little bit thicker and the processor is uh, placed a little bit weird, so there might be a lot more room inside. And with that, they can optimize battery life and we might have a phone that can survive a day. Now, to sum up, I would love to see the new design. I would love to see a better battery life. I would love to see wireless charging, the new camera with uh, AR and 3D technology. It would be just one piece of gorgeous tech. Guys, thank you for watching. Again, go check out my Hungarian channel if you want. Subscribe to this channel as I've got two partners, which I will talk about in my next video. And I'm doing an international giveaway for some awesome tech stuff. Please uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a tech bag of goodies. It's going to be awesome. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe. Check out my Instagram and my Facebook page. Until the next video, take care and hang loose.